A massive manhunt is underway this morning in Florida for the driver in a hit and run crash at a daycare center outside Orlando. One child died and several others were seriously injured. Nicole Pasecki of our Orlando affiliate WKMG is at the scene in Winter Park, Florida. Nora and Charlie, it was a horrific scene behind me here yesterday at the Kinder Care Daycare Learning Center. Dozens of emergency personnel responded to this tragedy and law enforcement are still searching for the suspect responsible. Florida authorities are hunting for Robert Curchado, an ex-convict in his mid-20s. An arrest warrant has been issued for his involvement in yesterday's car crash at an Orlando area daycare that killed one girl and injured 14 others, 11 of them children. If the person out there did this, is watching this, please turn yourself in. It's not worth it because we will find you today, and I promise that. Officials say this black Toyota Solera convertible went out of control Wednesday afternoon after it was struck in the rear by a silver Dodge Durango SUV. The Toyota jumped the curb and smashed through a wall at the daycare, pinning a little girl and injuring many others. The driver of the SUV then fled the tragic scene. The ones that I did see, seen blood coming out of their mouths like their mouths hit something or whatever. You know, they were bleeding out of their mouths and there was other ones that weren't moving at all. Two hours later, law enforcement found the Dodge SUV abandoned at a home in a nearby suburb. Florida Highway Patrol says the suspect then rented a black Mazda SUV and was reportedly spotted at Orlando International Airport. We do know that he is trying to flee the area. We've had information that he might be trying to flee out of the airport area right now. At the daycare center, family members scrambled to find their children. Some of them wheeled out on stretchers by emergency responders. Many of the children are listed in serious and critical condition. It was tough. There's a lot of not knowing and a lot of sadness. You know, always tough when it's a child um, involved. A total of eight children were taken to a local children's hospital with a wide variety of different injuries. We do know that one child is now in critical condition and three others are now in serious condition. Nora and Charlie. Nicola, thanks.